Hi guys, it's Machine Dana. Welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how, as a streamer, you can first link your Discord to your Twitch, but then also if you own a Discord server, how you're able to synchronize your Twitch subscribers to your Discord server and auto assign them a role and also to customize those roles, rename them, recall them and even display them on your Discord server. If you're not already doing this and you are a Twitch streamer and you've got a decent Discord server, it's a really nice tool just to be able to distinguish your subscribers to verified server members. And it's a really good way for Discord to be able to add and remove the tag depending on whether somebody is or is not subscribed to your Twitch channel. If all you want to do is learn how to link your Twitch to Discord, I'll link a much shorter version in the description. Just click that, it's one or two minutes long, and that's how you can just quickly link if you're a viewer. But if you're a streamer and you want to be able to get make the most of the integrations between Discord and Twitch, you will find this video useful. If you do find it useful, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. I do loads of Twitch videos for Stream Deck, Stream Labs, streaming in general, Discord and all kinds of stuff. Okay, let's get into it. And just to illustrate exactly how this looks on a server, this is my Discord server, link in the description below if you want to join it. As a Twitch streamer, I've got this Twitch subscribers section. The Twitch subscribers section, what this does, all these users are subscribed to me, uh, and along with a number of others that are not currently online. The Twitch integration, along with the Twitch linking to Discord, will allow a role to be auto-assigned to these guys. So for instance, if I click on this chap here, he's got a Twitch subscriber tag here, and it also illustrates the level that he's subscribed. That. There's another subscriber here that's been assigned the Twitch subscriber, but he has the tier 2 tag because he's subscribed on a tier 2 basis. As he's a mod in my Discord, he's actually distinguished a little bit different from that, which I'll illustrate later on in the video. So this is what we're trying to achieve here. Verified server members, we've got a Twitch subscribers linked and also the level that they're subscribed at and with these subscription roles you're able to completely customize the name of them the color of them all kinds of stuff like that the caveat here though is that for anybody to automatically have that assigned they also have to be linked to twitch as well so they don't necessarily need the integration because it's your server and you're responsible for your server but they will need to have linked their twitch to their Discord. Now the way that that works I'll show in this video anyway, but if your subscribers are not showing up as the subscriber tag within your server, there's a pretty good chance that they've simply not linked their Twitch to their Discord. It's just something to bear in mind, it's quite an important part of this. So in order to auto assign the subscriber roles to any one of your viewers and Discord members that have their Twitch linked to their Discord, well, there are two things that you need to do. The first thing is to link your own Twitch to your Discord. And then secondly, is to configure the integration for Twitch and Discord. And it's really straightforward. It takes about five minutes maximum. To link your Discord and Twitch together, you need to go into this uh, user setting here. Now what I've just done, just to illustrate, is I've actually removed the function to integrate Twitch and Discord. So that's the reason why now my subscribers are not showing. And we'll go through the process of re-adding those so you can see exactly how it works. So first to link your Twitch to your Discord, not your server here, this is your Discord account. We go on user settings and we go into connections. Within connections, you've got the option to click on Twitch here. Now the thing to note is, if you're already logged into your Twitch on a browser somewhere, it will automatically try and connect that account to your Discord. So if you're logged into Twitch with a different account for whatever reason, you might first want to just log out of that account. When you click onto this, it will ask you to log in to the account that you wish to connect to your Discord. And bear in mind, all we're doing at this point is linking our own Discord and Twitch account. It's nothing to do yet with a specific server. You'll be asked for a token if you've got two-factor authentication enabled, which hopefully you do have. You'll get a message to say that it's connecting Twitch and Discord together, and then the, this turns into a confirmation to say we've connected your Twitch account to Discord. Now we need to do the actual server-specific integrations. To do the server-specific integrations, what we need to do is right-click on your server, either on the menu item at the top here, or you can click on your icon, right-click on your icon. Then we need to go into server settings and integrations. Now we can see here my Twitch has zero connected accounts within the server that I'm in. That's my server, okay? So what I need to do is just go into manage here. Now we can see here that there is already a connection between me and my account that I'm logged in for. And because I own this Discord server, it's picked up that I can do the integration there. So I'm going to click enable here. 
There's a little synchronization that happens. We then get a confirmation that it's been added. We've got some options here. First of all, we can remove roll after a certain amount of grace days. And all we're doing here is choosing the setting to figure out what happens when the subscription on Twitch actually runs out. And once again, remember here that only people that are in your Discord server that have Twitch linked to their Discord will be able to allow this to happen. If they don't have Twitch linked to their Discord, they won't be able to have the subscriber role auto assigned. And that means, unfortunately, that you're probably going to end up doing it manually or not at all. Me here, I've taken a strict rule here to say on my server, if you don't have Twitch linked to your Discord, you simply don't have the tag because I don't want to have to manage that on a manual basis and it causes some permission issues as well. But obviously you can manage your server how you want to do that. So I'm gonna have a setting here that says I want to remove someone after one day's grace period of their expired sub. But you do have the option here if you want to kick them from the server, which I don't really want to do because <laughs> then they can just drop down to being a verified server member. We do have an option here to say allow sync subscribers to use your Twitch custom emotes on Discord. We can click that easy enough and save changes. Now what I want to just do here is click the synchronize button That'll quickly resync the server, the subscriber roles to the people that have got them and also remove any that have run out within the last one day. Now, as you can see here, the roles aren't actually showing as subscribers yet. But if I now click on some people that are subscribers, I can see that they now have this Twitch subscriber role and a Twitch subscriber tier one. So they've got the role and the specific level that they've been subscribed at. At a fundamental level, we've now completed what we need to complete to auto assign those roles. However, there are some other things you can do just to make it a little bit nicer for your server, to make it look a lot better, and so on. What I'm just going to go into here is right-click and go on Server Settings and Roles. Now we can see within this, the server roles here, we've got the Twitch subscriber, subscriber 1, 2, and 3. The first thing that we need to do is move up the subscribers higher up the list. So I'm actually having my third tier the highest here, followed by tier 2 followed by tier one. And that just means that if they spend more money to subscribe to you on a higher tier basis, you're able to have a lot more flexibility in terms of the responsibilities and permissions and things like that that you give them. So you're just adding value to your own subscriptions within Twitch. But the, the most important one here is the Twitch subscriber. So I'm just gonna call this, first of all, we can actually name it if we want. So you can call it, for example, Twitch sub, or you can customize that do whatever you want and then customize the color you can select one of these ones or by clicking the pipette here you can you can do a hex color i've got a color that i want it to be i want it to be like a royal purple color we can now see that the twitch sub is appearing like that we can then do the same thing for three two and one so for instance you could call it twitch sub tier one twitch sub tier two twitch sub tier three and then i'm going to give people um, let's say a gold for tier 3, a grey for tier 2, and I've got like a, a bronze core here to use for tier 1, which I'm going to use on the pipette. So what I've done there is we've got a bronze for tier 1, silver for tier 2, and like a gold core for tier 3, and then the Twitch sub here is just a general tag for anyone that is subscribed on the channel. We want to go ahead and hit save change there. That all looks fine. The problem is it's still not actually showing in any organized fashion. All we've done here is add the tags to people and then color. So what we then need to do is within the roles again, right click here, server settings and roles. On the Twitch sub here, we can display the role members separately from the rest of the members. And you can play around with all the permissions that you specifically want to add to the role itself. Bear in mind that any one channel that you then set up within your server, you can still override the role specific rules if you want to. There's a lot of flexibility built into Discord. So I'm gonna click save changes on that. You see that the Twitch subscribers are here and we've also got the Twitch sub name here as well, which we can customize further if we want to. And just to double check, here's a tier one subscriber, a tier three, two subscriber on my channel that's been given the tag. And I think I've got a tier three somewhere kicking around, hopefully this chap. We've, we've given this guy the stream director for the month on my channel. But it looks like Nave Rain doesn't actually have his Twitch linked to his Discord and therefore the tags have not auto assigned. If you want to, you can display the tier two and tier three subscribers at a different level also. The order in which these appearing are the order in which they will appear on the right hand side there. So if you do do that and you want the tier three to be to appear above the Twitch sub, you'd want to put it there just like that. 
So that's it, how you can easily link your Twitch to your Discord server on your account level, how you can then do an integration between your Twitch account and also your Twitch server, and then how we can customize the roles and auto assign the roles depending on what subscriber level your viewers are. If you did find this useful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up on the video. It definitely helps me and the visibility of the video. I'm really keen to understand what ideas you have in terms of the naming structure and things like that. And of course, if you want to join my Discord, the link's in the description below. Feel free also to visit me at twitch.tv forward slash machine gainer and have a wonderful day.